Well, it's getting close to that time of the year when the street sweeping trucks start rolling through our neighborhoods. So what happens to all the stuff they pick up? And why do we spring forward on a Sunday? All good questions for Heather Brown. Ruth from Minneapolis wants to know, what happens to all the stuff the city or county sweeps off the streets? Well, it depends on where you live. Some places can screen out the dirt, trash, leaves, and litter so they can recycle the sand they put down during the icy time. They're picking up car parts. Stuff that's contaminated with oil. I'm not sure if it'd be worth going through that to pick out all the garbage to reuse the sand. But in Minneapolis, you can imagine what they pick up is pretty gross, so it ends up in a landfill where it's used as a daily cover for the landfill. You're probably so used to it by now, you don't even notice it. But Janelle from Litchfield wants to know, why are objects in your side mirror closer than they appear? What's the law? It's largely a safety warning. Now, mirrors on your driver's side, which are closer to our eyes, are flat, so they don't really have this issue. But passenger side mirrors are convex. It's curved. And that's so they give us a wider field of view but they do that by compressing the images that we see. It's just like looking at the back of a spoon. And given that we judge distance by relative size, that smaller size distorts our perception of just how far away something is. Tamara from Burnsville and Rodney from Benson want to know, why is daylight saving on Sunday? You would prefer it on Saturday. Yes. Either way, people are going to be late for work. <laughs> well, in the U.S., it's always been on a Sunday. And the reason is it would offer the least disruption to people's weekday schedules. I mean, it's been this way for 50 years. Could you imagine them trying to change it to Saturday now? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the reason they keep it the way it is. Yeah. If you have a good question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com links.